This is a podcast of Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. To learn more about how you can support Scripps, visit us online at scripps.ucsd.edu. Of all the manifestations of climate change, sea level rise might become the most obvious to Californians in coming decades. The beaches at the heart of the state's tourist economy could shrink or even disappear as erosion accelerates. The Northern California levees that channel much of the state's water supply could breach under the onslaught of the ocean, especially if combined with Sierra Nevada floods. Scripps scientists are attempting to create the most accurate scenarios possible to help state lawmakers plan, especially for events when rising sea level combines with El Nino and high tides to produce perfect storms of destruction. I guess to start with, I should say that sea level along this coast has been rising historically. And over the past hundred years, uh, we've seen right out here at Scripps Pier and, and the San Diego Tide Gauge, an increase of about seven inches over the last century. What we find is that uh, we might expect a range of sea level rise here along the California coast of probably at least a half a meter. That's uh, something like a foot and a half and um, upwards to about a meter and a half that's something like uh, five to six feet. These are projections. They're not forecasts. Uh, there's a lot of imprecision. There's a lot of uncertainty. So all we feel we can do right now is to kind of guesstimate the range of potential sea level rise over the future. We know that the most catastrophic damages from sea level rise will happen when uh, the rise in sea level is accompanied by high tides, probably El Ninos, and big storms. So when those things all uh, come together, when they coincide, we can expect the greatest uh, effects. Let's put this in context. Suppose there's no sea level rise. What, what might happen? Well. If there was no sea level rise and the weather, the waves stayed just the way they are now, we already have beach erosion. So the no change scenario is the beaches are going away. Rising sea level is only going to make the problem worse. We have a lot of our water supply transmitted through from the Sacramento and San Joaquin rivers through the upper part of the, the Bay Delta estuary we pump much of the fresh water that's used to the south of Sacramento. And that area is susceptible to uh, water rise problems because there are levees, there are uh, islands which um, lie below water level in, in that area. And uh, if, if those levees are overtopped, it will create a, um, a problem with that system which will be hard to repair. It won't, it won't be uh, a one or two week thing. It'll be several months to get it back in order. Ironically, what coastal oceanographers need to understand and model the consequences of 21st century storms is to witness storms in the present day. Oceanographers like Scripps's Bob Guza say what's needed is a rapid observational response to episodes as they happen. The effort requires large investments of time and resources, but Guza says there is at least one good reason for making them. Money. If your metric of importance is money, then sandy beaches are a major factor in your equation. They provide tax dollars and they provide a vast wealth of jobs up and down the coast in service industries, basically. Restaurants, hotels, etc. It is true that if sandy beaches no longer were available to tourists, and this is a scenario that's possible 50 to 100 years out, it's going to hurt coastal tourism in California. Looking at what's happening now, I think is our best path forward in terms of trying to improve the predictions of how beaches are gonna respond. We simply lack the understanding to make reasonable predictions about what will happen in conditions we haven't yet experienced. 
That's why we need to get observations during major storms, temporary rises in sea level, so that we can tune those models up. We should be paying attention in the short run to these episodes when all of these influences occur. In the longer run, I think we should be prepared for uh, when, when, when we're making plans <coughs> that involve the coasts and the estuaries, we're going to have to take that into account in, in our infrastructure and in policy. It's an interesting problem in that it's changing rapidly and we're developing not only a better understanding but a, a better understanding of what we don't understand. So uh, that's uh, sort of the state of things right now. This has been a presentation of Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego.